Blockchain adoption happens in leaps and bursts. You'll go through periods where this space is rapidly advancing, and then it gets boring for a while, and then something major happens, and boom, it explodes again overnight. All it takes is for one or two things to pop at the same time, and then this space can take off like a rocket ship. Well, in this video, I want to talk about how one of the biggest names in Web 2.0, Amazon, is about to get into crypto in a big way. All right, you heard that right, Amazon.com. So trust me, you don't want to miss this. This is by far one of the biggest pieces of news for the entire industry in the last 12 months. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know this video, why this is such a big deal, and what you can do to get ahead of this coming wave. I went about all this as a blockchain developer myself, works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master, step-by-step start -step finish, break into the blockchain industry, increase your salary way past 100K, then head on over to dappyversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about how Amazon is getting into the Web 3.0 and crypto space in a big way. Okay, so this report came out recently from Blockworks uh, talking about this with some interviews from some insider end sources who were familiar with this matter. We're going to break that down to you, everything you need to know, talk about the who, what, when, where, why, and then fill in the gaps with some of my analysis on what I think this is actually going to do and what this is going to be. So let's talk about some of the first important details is that this is going to be an NFT focused initiative. Okay, I'll give you more detail about that in a minute, but that's one major point. Uh, the next one is that, you know, Amazon has been eyeing this space for some time. They've been probably working on this in the background, but now they have said that they are going to make this public very soon. And the timeline of that is going to be, uh, per this report, April of 2023. So that's just a few months away. It's time to record this video. And the other major important factor here is that this is going to be for Amazon.com. Okay, there's lots of different things in the Amazon umbrella, including AWS. That's the infrastructure that runs Amazon. They sell to other companies and developers to run their infrastructure. It's not AWS, like it's managed blockchain or anything. It's user-facing stuff on amazon.com with Thread 3.0 with NFTs. And it's coming in just a few months. All right, so those are some of the big picture items that we do know. And now I wanna look at a couple of other things that some of these sources have said to get a clue for what specifically it could be. So there's lots of different things you could do with NFTs. So a few sources have said that there's uh, been a focus on, you know, multiple initiatives, but one of the initiatives is that there's a blockchain-based gaming and related NFT application. Uh, so some ideas on that are basically getting Amazon customers to play uh, crypto games and, and claim free NFTs in the process. And this could definitely be an area of interest for the Web 2.0 giant because, you know, number one, gaming is a huge theme for blockchain going forward. NFTs are a perfect application for gaming. And then number three, you know, one of the things about Web 3.0 is basically introducing incentives to use applications that can reward users, you know, with some sort of value over time that you don't really get in the Web 2.0 world, okay? And so, you know, NFTs are a huge incentive for that. And if you can sort of graph that onto the Web 2.0 model that Amazon already has of, you know, e-commerce, then that's a way to potentially, you know, skyrocket um, this part of the business through those particular incentives with this program. And so Web 3.0 gaming is one possibility, but another possibility is actually just getting into the straight up NFT marketplace space, okay? So to me, this is the biggest no-brainer, all right? Just think about it. You've got a platform like OpenSea, which still has the leading market share of NFT sales in the space, okay? It's a widely known name. They've, you know, had 2.5 million users, okay? Their quarterly revenue top, you know, $144 million in Q3 of 2022. You know, why wouldn't the retail giant want to try to capture some of that market share? I mean, you can see it all there, verifiable on chain. Amazon already has a massive, massive platform. If they just started offering NFT sales on their platform, they would easily tap into their user base to take off, you know, some of that market share. And, you know, one of the reasons this seems even more likely is because we've got you know, interviews inside the article saying that, you know, these other competitors like OpenSea, for example, would definitely see Amazon moving into the space as a threat. All right. So another big reason why this is such a big deal is if Amazon actually becomes an NFT marketplace, they are positioning themselves to become a leader in the coming Web 3.0 wave. Let me explain what I mean by that. So essentially, I expect NFTs to grow beyond the use case of just digital pictures on a blockchain, okay? I'll let you all debate down in the comment section below whether you think that's a valid use case or not. But whether you like it or not, 
I see a future where we're going to start selling any non-fungible asset, any digital scarce asset that you can model NFTs on chain, like concert tickets, like intellectual property, like real estate. Okay. And if Amazon actually gets in position to set this stuff up where they can just sell the current NFTs, what what's to stop them from selling those things later and getting a cut of all that transaction volume? Okay. You know, Bezos's original vision for Amazon was the everything store. They've basically done that in the web 2.0 world. And what they are also going to be in position for is becoming the everything store also in the web 3.0 world as well. I mean, imagine getting onto Amazon in the future and buying a house on it. Okay, like maybe that one's a little bit of a stretch for the the immediate near term future, but it's definitely not a stretch to buy things like concert tickets to buy or maybe any other smaller ticket item that will be represented as an NFT. All right, so another big reason why this is such a huge deal is because of what it's potentially going to do for regulatory clarity uh, in the NFT space going forward. And that could have, you know, bigger you know effects and implications for the broader crypto ecosystem as well. So, you know, I pull up this other article on Coindesk talking about this, saying that, hey, this is going to be a compliance nightmare because there's so much gray area on NFTs. You know, what can you do with them? There's a fear that some NFTs might be securities and we don't always have, you know, clarity on exactly uh, whether that is or not. And some consensus is, hey, maybe not. Okay. But, you know, Amazon getting the space, they're going to have to get clarity on that. Okay. At some point before this becomes a massive success or a failure. And if they have the ability to sort of push that across the finish line and give us some sort of type of regulatory clarity and put pressure on people to give us that from down on high, then that can be a massive positive for the entire space, regardless of what the outcome is, whether it's, you know, favorable or unfavorable, okay? Now, if it's favorable, of course, that's great for the entire space because that means that there's, you know, very little risk with NFTs. But even if it's unfavorable, you know, you still have this benefit of having clarity, okay? And regulatory clarity is massive for the entire space because there's so many people who are sitting on the sidelines that are hesitating to jump into Web 3.0 because they lack this type of clarity, okay? Because the last thing they want to do is make a bet on something that's uncertain, okay? But that certainty comes into the picture, then a lot more people are going to move forward. All right, so, you know, what does that mean for you if you're watching this video? So at the end of the day, you know, my mission on this channel is to help as many people as possible you know, get laser focused on the blockchain industry, you know, change their careers, become blockchain developers and get way ahead of this entire trend that's unfolding. So, well, you know, what does this mean for you? What can you do? Well, number one is if you've been sitting on the sidelines being an NFT skeptic, like a lot of people are, like I have been at times, then you really can't afford to be in that position for much longer, okay? If you see people like Amazon getting in the space, that has to change your opinion of this. Even if you don't think that, you know, the current use case for NFTs are viable long-term, there's definitely lots more things that are coming down the pike that can have lots of demand. So number two is, you know, if you've been thinking about jumping into this space and maybe haven't quite gotten the coding skills, then, you know, this is going to be one of those things where you see lots of demand generated for these types of skills by proxy of Amazon doing this. So, you know, ne- there's there's really no better time like the present to get started. And even if, if you are down that journey and you haven't really skilled up into how exactly NFTs work and how you start creating them, then now is definitely time to do this. NFTs are a specialty that you definitely want to have inside of your blockchain development toolkit. So how can you do that? Well, you can definitely, you know, First of all, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps this video out so the more people learn about blockchain. But you can also go to my YouTube homepage. There's several uh, YouTube videos there on my blockchain development courses uh, playlist that'll show you how to work with NFTs. We've got a Zillow clone that'll show you how to basically like buy and sell real estate uh, on the internet with NFTs. Okay, definitely go check that one. That's the most recent one. We even have an Amazon clone, okay, that'll show you how to do e-commerce products with NFTs as well. And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, you know, I can show you how to change your career, become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish, break in the industry, increase your salary way past 100K over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp, okay? You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months, all right? So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp Diversity.